We are in question 4 to find the slope of equations of lines and tell whether they are parallel or perpendicular. What happened is I recorded the entire all the questions, you know, I saw each and every question and then I realized the recording was not at all on. So whatever I told for like past 10 minutes, you know, was never recorded. Not 10 minutes, it was shorter. But anyways, now we will solve them again. We will do it now one by one. Before I continue, I just want you to know about lines. So let me draw some random axis. This is y axis, x axis. What do you understand by perpendicular lines? Perpendicular is always something like this, 90 degrees. So if I have, say, a line like this, and I have one more line like this, the slope between them, uh, sorry, this causes 90, 90 degrees over here, then they are perpendicular. Now, how would you know they are perpendicular? Because we only will know slopes, right? So mathematicians have found out various lines and everything, and they came to know whenever there are two perpendicular lines, the slopes, imagine this is y is equal to 2x plus, say, 4. And over here we have y is equal to minus half uh, plus 1. Okay. Whenever you have two lines, if you multiply their slopes, minus x, what is the slope? Whatever is the coefficient of x, right? Let's multiply the slope. Half, minus half, and multiply it by 2. It becomes minus 1. You get minus 1 as the answer, then they are perpendicular. This is the only way you can easily find out which are perpendicular lines. Now, most important thing is writing the equation in slope-intercept form. This is slope-intercept form. What is it? Slope-intercept. There must be two things, slope and intercept. Y is equal to mx plus b. M is the slope, b is the intercept. B denotes, this 4 denotes, it is touching the y-axis at 4. Positive 4 over here. Now, what about this? This last one. 1 means it's touching at 1. And whatever is before x over here, those are the slopes. M is slope, right? 2 and negative half. This is about perpendicular lines. Parallel lines, right, are two lines which will never touch each other. They will be always equidistant towards each other and they'll never cross each other. They'll never come like this because the slopes are same. If you have slope of y is equal to, now over here there is no slope, it's flat line. Let me draw a realistic line over here. I'll draw two lines like this, okay? Now, y is equal to, say, x plus 4. y is equal to x minus 1. Slopes are same. Nothing means it's 1 and 1. y and y, it's in slope-intercept form. But the intercepts, y intercepts are different. Then they are parallel lines, parallel. As long as the slopes are same, they will become parallel. So now, over here, what you need to do is just write them in slope-intercept form. So it'll be y is equal to 2x plus 4. It's already in slope intercept over here. y is equal to 2x minus 10. Again, it's in slope intercept. Look at the slopes. Parallel, directly, that's it. And you don't have to solve anything. You have to just look at the slopes, still parallel. Now over here, y is equal to negative half x minus 12. It's, that's the slope intercept form. Over here now, this is not in slope intercept y minus 3 equals 2 times x plus 2, right? Let's solve it out. y minus 3 equals, multiply this, both the terms. It will be 2x plus 4 when you multiply 2 times 2. Now you take 2x plus 4 plus 3. Why? Because this to the other side becomes positive. So it's y is equal to 2x plus 7 now. Now here, let's write y is equal to 2x plus 7. The slopes are different. Obviously, they cannot be parallel. Only if they are same, they are parallel. Now, what we will do is, we will just multiply the slope to, uh, towards each other. Like, minus half times positive 2. The slopes are minus 1. Now, when we multiply, we got negative 1. That means they are parallel to, uh, sorry, perpendicular to each other. That's the answer. Now, what about, say, parallel, perpendicular? Let's look into, this is neither. Now, let's... Uh, let's do this one. I'll now directly multiply. You can do this by yourself later. And you do not need to worry much about the y-intercept. It's only the slope that really matters, this 3x. Then all the numbers, just put them together. It'll be plus 15, plus 4. It'll be plus 19. 
And what about this? Y is equal to negative one third X. And then we will have over here minus one third and minus three. It will be three by three, nine, um, 10 by three. I just did it a while ago, so I remember it as well. Now here, yeah, it's minus minus. Only look at the slope. We are not looking into the other number. You can solve it and calculate it. That's fine. But we are only focused on the slope. Three times negative one third. Three, three cancels. Answer is minus one. It's perpendicular to each other. The answer is perpendicular over here. You can see. Now, what about this? Let us write y is equal to. It will be 6x plus 12 plus 3 will be plus 15. Over here, we will have y minus one third x and over here we will have negative four uh, it'll be positive four thirds and we will have to minus three you can do this it's basically one one third we are not focused over here in the intercepts we don't want that intercepts we just want the slope this term as long as y y then we just look into the slopes six multiplied by negative one thirds what's the answer it's two minus two now here this is a problem it's not minus one it's not equal we it's not parallel nor perpendicular it's neither so the answer is neither over here so this is how we solve those problems now last type of problems over here we have just x is equal to y y is equal to 10 like we are only x and y terms we don't have an equation so that means the e the lines will either be flat horizontal or vertical lines right this is the thing so let us graph them up x is minus 2 where is minus 2 over here draw a straight line okay that's not straight but it should be fairly straight what about y is equal to 10 it's somewhere over here let that be 10 and it's over here this is perpendicular why because you have just x is minus 2 and y is 10 in this line there is no slope so slope is 0 over here there is no y-axis the slope is you know uh, 90 degrees basically and what about these? Y is phi, that is over here, minus 3, let it be over here. Two flat lines. They'll never touch each other. They're always equidistant against each other. So this is parallel. Now, easy way to remember, you have X is equal to single number, Y is equal to single number. They're always perpendicular to each other. You can take any values. So imagine it's 0, 0. It'll be perpendicular, 0, 0. Any line, it'll be a cross. It'll be... 90 degrees that means perpendicular but if it is same axis x x now if you have x of minus 2 and positive 2 they are parallel to each other they will never cross each other okay so perpendicular here when there are two different terms parallel when they are same and that's the end of question 4 i hope it is clear a simple topic just be careful with the slopes find the slopes analyze them and then easily find the answer